Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the episode of my time at Sand Good morning. I feel well rested. At least much better than spending the night in the wild. Good to hear. Um, <laughs> it reach a point where just let him say his piece. <laughs> uh, uh, today, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, that was the wrong button. Uh, we did kind of figure out that... Um, there she is. I'm like, why can't I interact with babies? Um, those are really pink lips. Oh, she likes that. Howl it. Do you like this for 16? You do. So they always like the same thing. Okay. Just doing my testing. Always doing the testing. Um... Oh yeah, we found out that the giant loach king does not exist, essentially, in game. I... They, they are the exact same thing. Though I am stupid, because I went into Sadal's Don't Eat My Sand Hat. Um, which of course is a sandstorm today. Um, what I should have done... Didn't we just get this from more? We need to do recycling. What I should have done was just donated the loach medium size. Hmm. That is what. What did it say? I ain't Take seen no reason. sandstorms. I forgot they have special dialogue for sandstorms. Um, we are gonna go back and donate the loach. At least see if we can. I think. Ooh, I I want to do something different. Challenge myself. Why not? Um. Oh, I need to start an alloy sphere. We are gonna see if we can donate the loach. And we will. I'm actually shocked I was able to donate that because that was on me. That was actually on my person and I was able to donate that to the museum. So I have a feeling that's not actually there. Or I broke the game. I broke the time space continuum of the game. I did verify my game files because I had that thing where the game faded like in and out, in and out, in and out. And that's not supposed to happen, um, <laughs> like ever. <laughs> uh, so I don't, I don't know. I looked on Jasmine's birthday stick. Uh, I looked on the their Discord, and I couldn't find anything. And I mean anything about it. And for things like, I remember it being a problem for a while. Um, I remember it being a thing, but it was just like, I nope, I needed um, this, I'm doing recycling. I, I remember it being a thing a while ago where it would do the fade in, wow, I slacked. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, there we go. So we're going to let this process for a while. <laughs> Whoopsie. I knew I was forgetting something. And I kept saying like, oh, I need to do that. And I just never did it. And then I added to the problem by going and uh, harvesting all the stuff in the uh, scrapyard. And I said to myself, like, oh, I need to do that. And I just never, I never did it. And yeah, I failed. All right, so we have to give Jasmine a gift. Um, but yeah, our fishing days, I think, are done. They are behind us. We are moving on from the fishing. We are going to work on still encyclopedia stuff. Jasmine home or is she at school? I'm looking for a Jasmine. Trudy's at home. I do think it's weird that um, Jasmine still does not live with her mother. That is really weird. Like really weird. 
I have a feeling being it's a sandstorm day, which I did try to exit since I had to verify game files anyway. She is. Why didn't you show up, little ma'am? And you're standing on a table. Journey to the east. But today's your birthday. So you're getting this. Um, here you go. Thank you. So yeah, I did exit the game hoping that that would get rid of the sandstorm and it didn't. This is, this was an unavoidable sandstorm. Um, so yeah, I did try to stop it. You dispatch the animals. Why are you not wearing a mask, sir? Howdy. When it's storming like this, you stay close. You hear? I won't let a damn thing near you. It's Enraged so Beast partner. Day. Got a little request today. I know, but it's Enraged Beast Day. We're gonna go farming. You are not enraged, but you know, collateral damage here. Yeah. Um, we did a part of what we needed to do today, which was give Gavis Gasmin, Jasmine, a gift. Um, the only other thing I could th thought that we could do today um, was start our snooping of pe on people. I kind of go into all their houses and snoop. I think it's a sandstorm. That's something we can do. I'm all for good snooping. Um, so that was the other thing I thought we could do today. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. We do have to go out with Ginger tonight at nine o'clock so we will do that tonight at nine o'clock ha oh you went too far downhill we're not going to do this for all day this is just i just wanted to farm a little bit for tokens we are not going to do this for much longer i just have fun doing it That's like the only thing about Logan dispatching the pets is he's dispatching them during a sandstorm. I probably never would have dispatched them during a sandstorm. <laughs> yeah! Collateral damage. You're just here. Um. I did look also at reviewed the tape. And the two fading in and out instances, they did both happen in the in, in the in the afternoon, uh, but they were not at the same time. They were about an hour apart, two hours apart maybe. So I I looked all over the Discord and I found nothing. I googled it in general, and I found nothing as to what that could be. Like I even looked at my notes from beta testing and I found nothing that happened to me. But to me, it's, it always, the, the bug I remember during beta testing, it always happened during this part of the game. So I'm just going to say that maybe a feature we have to deal with from now on. We'll see. I haven't. I'm going to see if it happens again. And if it does happen again, I will probably uh, send them a, a bug report on it. Um, just because it shouldn't be happening. You should not be having the screen fading in and out. It's weird. But I will. I'll see if it happened again because if I verify game files and it disappeared, then um, there's no point in continuing to report the problem. I'm on fire. That's where I wish like if you did that, it would put you out, but it doesn't. Oh my goodness. Thing that's dumb. Like this is where I was like just so stupid is that should have been a telltale sign that nothing was happening 
when I didn't have all this junk in my inventory and I didn't have to sort it every time I went there. That should have been the like, ah, I, I'm not doing any recycling. That should have been when that started. No, it was a delayed reaction. Uh, has she taken care of these guys? For the most part, yes. We will feed them, I think, tomorrow. Nah, we'll just do it. I'm here. Today is Thursday. I don't need to water or do anything like that. So we're going to go turn in commissions. And find something to do for a few hours and then go out with Ginger. Sometimes you will see Ginger sitting like right here waiting. I decided not to do that today. I ran into somebody. Who did I run into? There are invisible people in my town. Yeah, the end of the game is a little buggy still. <laughs> Thank you. It's probably a very good thing that this save is kind of like almost done. Oh, where were you a while ago, huh? I may do some of these though. That is so cheap. How many do you want? Nine? Oh, and what do the thorny jumpers ever do to you? We may come back and do some of these. I don't know. I don't need the money. So it's kind of like, eh. Like if you don't need the money for stuff. Um, and we also don't need the points with those people. That's when you kind of say, is it worth it? Thank you. Yeah, this is when you start to to wish that the the um, bulletin or the commission board had more diversity on it of people because ah, <sighs> you see the people who we're slacking with now, and that's because they they never post commission, so you can kind of see it now more. It's more obvious, obviously. Um, hey Ernest, hope oh, I can hear my factory. Wow, thank you so much. My factory's recycling away. <gasps> Jane, are you in here? Hello, ma'am. I feel sorry that I have neglected Thanks. you. I love it. I think tomorrow we may take her on a date. See, here's where people aren't fun because we can't snoop on Jane. It's like we really can't snoop on him. Like, don't mind me. At all. Yeah, we can't snoop on him at all. Just like we really can't even snoop on Katori, I think. She may have something. So this is where she needs to move to a different place. Because Alo, there's like no room for him. Don't here. let the sandstones get you down. There's plenty of happiness to be found in my game center. You can leave the wind at the door. Mm-hmm. Catch you later. Yeah, this is like too small. Like this is all you can check is a picture of her and her son when he was a younger age. He looks so cheeky. This was a gift August liked in Portia. Yeah, there's nothing to spy on in here. Hey, Mia. Hey there. Ugh, I need to be careful in this weather. I can't have come all this way just to get blown away in a sand. Yeah. See ya. Yeah, you can't really can't spy on anyone in here. That's like a bummer. So they have to have a proper house. Which is a bummer because I really wanted to spy on people. <laughs> uh, I really did. <laughs> I am like a nosy person by nature and uh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Fernandez is visible again, so we're, we're going up in the world right now. Um, we're going to. Today and 
I let Elsie in. Remember, Thank you. don't go hungry. I won't. You always tend to forget everything when you got stuck. You forget everything. Uh, we're gonna check on the babies, and I'm gonna donate a loach. He is slacking in his parental. Well, he only takes care of Lily. He only goes for Lily. I'm hoping when she gets a little bit bigger, he will like kind of spread it out a little bit, like maybe pick up Howlet. Um, I hope I hope that's a thing. We need to grab a giant loach and donate that to the museum. I do feel really stupid. Like that that thought never crossed my brain. Nope. Is it this one? We will donate the giant loach so we can say that that fish is donated. I will also, nope. I will also check if, and the wolf eel is not implemented in any shape or form. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna donate the giant loach. So that we can at least say we have donated one of each type of the fish to the museum. We are gonna still donate more stuff. Uh, it's just, it is what it is. It's gonna mainly be the small item. Like we should probably go to uh, see what prices are and go to, um, who is not fun to look at? You. Yeah, look how they're the same. And we're going to go to here and I'm going to put one of the adders to him back. There we go. Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, we need to go see for completing the um, Encyclopedia. My brain totally cannot remember the name Encyclopedia. Uh, we m need to go price things at Grandma Vivi's. Uh, it's good prices. I don't know if we just do we just buy it and see if it's in the encyclopedia. This is what I don't know what to do. I may have to see if there's a list of things in the encyclopedia. Now we need to build all the weapons. I need to touch all of the weapons. So that is something we need to do. Like I need to build this sharpshooter, whatever that is. I touched that, that's in our inventory. Yeah, this is what's going to be very difficult. Because these are all items that are for sale in the sh different shops. Like the, um, oh, the, the Civil Corps. There we go. So this is going to be difficult. And then the accessories, we have to... See, this one I held, so I don't understand why we don't have that one. I held that. That was in my inventory. Okay, so I think we're just going to buy one of everything here. Like this I had at one point. That I shouldn't need. Um, see, this I actually wore for a while. And what, what we're going to do is whatever from here can get donated to the museum is going to get donated to the museum. And whatever can't is going to get sold again when prices are higher. So our inventory is going to look abysmal for a really long time. So let's see, did that fill in anything? 
Uh, equipment. It did. But this also may be very bugged. That is the thing. That, that filled in. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. Let's go to our boxes and see what is in there. So I know for a while LMG was going to was going to try to fill in the encyclopedia on his like 10 year long save or whatever it is. And I don't think he ever actually finished it. I think I don't think he finished it. I at least I don't remember him finishing it. I sold the earring or I gave it as a gift. It may have been a gift. Why am I going over here? I need to go here. Um, jewelry. If I were jewelry, what would I look like? No, no. Well, we need to make this. What is jewelry? This? Okay. It's interesting that golden ear bone ring is made 100% out of lapis lazuli. That is not a connection I would have made. But sure. Remember, don't go hungry. You always tend to forget everything when you've got stuff on your hands. Where are you? Where are you talking to me through a wall? That scared me. Where did, where is he? Is he invisible now? I am very confused as to where my husband. Ah, what are you? Howdy. Hi. Where where did you just come from? Where did you come from? He must have been hiding in like the um these things. No, he can't. I don't know. So golden earbone. Now does it show up in my inventory? Or encyclopedia. This encyclopedia is not uh, equipment, accessories. Nope. Now it is. It's filled in. Okay, so we have to literally make one of everything on the machine. Some stuff, I mean, it may be difficult. <sighs> um, yeah, it may be a little difficult. Um, yeah, we're going to have an abysmal inventory for a while. Well, we're going to donate it. Oh, uh, the museum is still open. That is an early arrow. Like a two hour too early arrow. But I will, uh. And it is what it is. Um, we'll see what we can donate just to fill up some of these. Just they look so bare. And we already donated that. Like that already looks better, even if it's just like it's junk, but it already looks better than having nothing there. Um, so yeah, like I said, I think we're just going to kind of fill up some of these just to give it a more full feeling. I can't, all of it can't be done, but I'll try. Um, we're going to go to the clinic, I think. Gonna party with Miss Ginger. Or not. It gave us the circle too early. 
So I think there's accessories in here to buy too. So we will have to also buy these accessories. Yeah, we'll have to buy all the headbands. And then this outfit. I think that's it. It's mainly just... This we technically have on us. Ah, oh, she beat us. Yeah, there's nothing we can do for her to, to actually win. So unfortunate. Just, whoops, so unfortunate. Okay, we got a half hour. So did that all count? Because I think what I'm afraid of is I'm going to buy all these things and like it'll, oh yeah, there it is. Okay. And it'll show up for like the one time it's in my inventory and then it's going to go like vanish. I'm going to do this all over again. Yeah. So it's basically once we touch something, I have to verify that it actually is showing up. And like if it does something where I know I touched it and it still isn't showing up, then it's just going to be a lost, a lost thing because I'm not going to keep finding it and touching like the object and putting it in my inventory again. There's a certain point where it's just like the, it's a thing that is just not functioning right in the game and I give up. I think after this, there's only like one bigger point, like plot point left for Ginger and them, other than them leaving. I think that's kind of how it works. Like, that's what I remember. She's like one more bigger point. He's sleeping. We have to be quiet. Okay. If he wakes up, he won't let me go. You really, like, peaked there, ma'am. Sorry that this is a sandstorm, Ginger. I tried to avoid it, you know? The owner of the Blue Moon, Owen, right? He told me there were shows at night. I wonder if there's one on tonight. Um, I don't think so. How about we go there and take a look? Okay. Um... You can keep up. I apologize. I should have taken a horse, but she would not have rode with me either way. So a wild she is on the loose. Okay. She moves faster than she did in Portia. Uh huh. Is it here? It may be here. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Listen, there's the music coming, coming from the blue moon. Come on, let's go and see. Okay, so you have to hit that circle. lively in here it normally is more lively but you know it's a sandstorm hey you guys want to see sure is the band performing tonight yeah we've got local legends kugo tonight if owen's in a good mood there might even be some free food going around but shh, i didn't tell you that follow me okay what do you think you're doing you cut into my solo. I was improvising, man. You should have followed my lead. <laughs> Follow your lead? What do you mean? I told you we need a bassist. We ain't got no rhythm with no bassist. 
Ain't nobody crazy enough to join a band with your temper. <laughs> no bass, no drums. We're, we're just a guitarist and an old man blindly hitting the keys. And you got the nerve to steal my soul. <laughs> hey, you better watch your mouth. You tell him, Hugo. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? Do we have a problem? Heck no. <laughs> We're golden. That's the microphone that was there from the banquet. That's not supposed to be there. They're really funny. <laughs> Their bickering reminds me of Carol and Mars. Uh, Carol and Mars, if you haven't played Portia, they're like a married couple who have three girls. Um, I think they're technically triplets. It's like Molly, Polly, and Dolly. Um, and Mars kind of owns like a hardware store type thing. It's like a general store, but it's like he'll buy ores and you can buy pickaxes from him. Like you get your upgrade kits, which are like similar to the sharpening stones at Hugo. And his wife, Carol, is a seamstress. So she has like the transmog system at her shop, but that sets who they are. I wonder what everyone in Portia is doing. Uncle Russo and Pa will be resting by now. Um, are you homesick? Uncle Russo is, um, Russo is a character who, as I think, went to war with their father, with Gale. And that's, he kind of continues to serve the, their family in like a butlerish type capacity. Are you a homesick? A little bit. It's been a long time since I've been this far from Portia. You know, you remind me of one of my friends. They're a builder in Portia. They always keep me company. They're really lovely. They sound like a real friend. I actually was never a very good friend to Ginger. She was too hard to get to know. The only gift you could give her was like rainbow lemonade. And that was worth like four points. So if you thought Fang was hard in this game, you have no idea what difficulty is. Uh, like Ginger is the actual difficult person to know. Yeah, they are. They mean a lot to me. I haven't told anyone this before. Not even my brother. I never used to think about the future because of my condition. I always felt the future was for other people. But now, now I have some hope when I'm better. What should I do? Before, I would quietly write down my thoughts in a diary. But now, maybe I can share those words with someone. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my heart flutter. <laughs> a little nervous and excited. Sorry, everyone. Mm -hmm. We had a little issue earlier. Now, let's bring you a cheerful dance number. Hope you all enjoy it. Same song. Hey there! Do you want to dance? Oh, that's so sweet. Me? Go for it. Sure. Would you like to join us? Dancing's not my thing, but sure. Nice. You had a really fun evening, but everything comes to an end. I wish that was there was a scene, but you know, it is what it is. I do wonder Thank if those. Thank you so much for today. I didn't just get a walk, but we listened to music and had fun too. I'm, <laughs> I'm just really happy. I do wonder if those black scenes, like when it's just black, or in this case, purple, if those are ever gonna get like a scene. Like when the train comes and goes, or like that scene with us dancing. I do wonder if those will ever get a cutscene. My brother is probably still asleep. I should go back now. Good night. Um, good night. Or maybe you can stay here and be the Kugo bassist. <laughs> I don't think I'd fit in very well. They seem to have their own <laughs> dynamic. I had such a good time though. Sandrock is such a wonderful place. Thank you. For everything. Good night. Good night, Ginger. And look at that. No time really passed. All right. I think with tonight, we're going to go into the Eufaula and just dig around. Uh, 
Uh, make sure no one's birthday's tomorrow. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, I do wonder. It is interesting that we did not get the blackout screen, so whatever that was, it got fixed. But by me maybe verifying game files, we'll find out tomorrow. But yeah, I do wonder if those scenes where it just is a black screen, if those will ever get an animation or just a cinematic or something. I do wonder if that if that's on their list of things to do. I mean, when you think about it, it's not really important. It just, I don't know. It's like it just, it seems a little unfinished when you have scenes that are just black like that. It, it feels unfinished when you see something like that. But I, I think that that's very, very low on the priority list. Like one thing I will say with this game that I'm curious about is like how much content update it's going to get because Porsche got a lot of content updates and that was because there was a lot of story that felt missing and a lot of characters like a lot of characters who were missing any they had no story. So that's why I wonder like how much content is Sandrock gonna get? Because there are characters who don't have stories still. Like Pablo, I to me, he needs at least one or two more good stories. Owen needs a bunch. I would say Justice needs another one. Fenty needs everything. Um I would say Wei actually needs another story just to get to know him better. Um, like even though he's technically a temporary person here, I also think uh, Yan needed probably one more story. I also think Pen probably could have used one more story. Um, I would also say some of the church people, they probably could have used like one more story each like I kind of I would have liked if Matilda had a story to maybe learn more about her even though it was all like most of what you did learn about her was fake I mean let's be real it was almost all fake she was the bad guy or bad lady um I don't know in a way I feel like she could have maybe used a story um It's like, it's one of those things that you can't, they do have to pick and choose, you know, you can't, it can't be equal to everyone as much as it sucks. It is very difficult to give equal time to every NPC because, I mean, money is a finite resource, so... If they had unlimited money and unlimited time and all that type of stuff, they probably would, but they don't. I just, I do wish it was more equal. I think that is what I wish, that there was a more equal distribution of who has missions, who doesn't. Because, like, for the full release, they added more stories for Fang. Like, Fang really did not need any more stories. But nonetheless, he has more stories. Just like Logan. Like, Logan at this point does not need any more stories. But he still probably will get one at some point. Like, I do have a feeling we may eventually see, like, a, some DLCs with Logan. Just because he's going to be the character who carries over probably into the next. There's always going to be a character who overlaps. So from Portia and initially was Mint and then it became Albert and then Gus and Ginger and Gale. 
So there's always going to be some character that overlaps that kind of gets people interested in the story. Um, yes, look at those eyes. What are you planning for today? I'm uh, not too busy right now. I have to talk to you, I sir. I can be with you if you want. Fishing for two. Darling, what say we rustle up some sandfish? One of the finest joys in living off the land is grilling up a sandfish you caught yourself. Uh, no problem. All right. Let's get out up over that horizon and let loose for a bit. So the ones I already caught? Nope. So I was going to say, I don't need any more sand carp, but we do need to grab our fishing stuff. Um, tools. Come on. Let's go, sweetie. Luckily, he keeps picking things that are close. Like, that's actually very convenient. <laughs> oh, that's my eyeballs. Like, that is incredibly convenient. Get the worry. Have a rare free day. Oh, Aloe's just following her. I really hope that they implement al aloe more. Or aloe. He's not aloe. He's not aloe vera. Um, I keep saying it like it's aloe vera. Um, they need to give him, make him implemented so that like you can give him, get points with him. Other than talking to him and him saying, um, what? Like that's basically your interactions with aloe. Aloe! It is aloe! And yoink. And yoink. And anyone, anyone up here or not? Now, well, we have our Day of the Bright Sun gift, I guess. <laughs> oh, now you're going to give me kings? That's actually really funny. That is really funny. There we go. Well, yeah, like I said, we got our day or the bright sun day of the bright sun gift. We do have to cut a tree down because we need boxwood for the encyclopedia. So we're gonna have to get Burgess on our bad side. I'm like, I really don't want to do it because. I know you're not supposed to, supposed to cut down trees, but we're gonna have to cut down trees. And this'll do. Go ahead and put them up on the drying rack if you don't plan on frying them up anytime soon. I'll take those ones out on the trail. Level Remember, up. Don't go hungry. You always tend to forget everything when you've got Do stuff on forget. your hands. Do forget. Sort all, yes. I should see if uh, they did make that giftable. Any of the headbands. For a while, they were not giftable. Which is it was really annoying because that was like a loved gift of pebbles. Sure. Okay, we're gonna go check that she took care of the animals. Hello, Timon. You are taken care of. You are taken care of. You guys grew up except for you, you poor little baby. Oh, no. They all grew. He's the he's the one that's left behind. OK, we're going to go turn in commissions. I'm not seeing anything on the map for Miss Ginger. But we'll go by the clinic anyway. Hey, Rocky. Where is Pebbles? <laughs> is yeah, he might be in school. Yeah, so we're going to go to school. I want to see if I can give Pebbles a headband. Um, Let's see if she... Cause this was for, this 
was for Mabel, right? Or was it Cooper? Oh, you're not Hello. stuck anymore. Thank you. Let's see if she wants to give us a recipe. Mm. That was not what you were going to tell me, but okay. That's actually interesting. I wonder if what, what changes the fact that she says she wants to give wants to give us a recipe is if you exit and enter the game again. Um, I wonder if that kind of resets it. Someone's over here. Who's over here? Purview. And then Ryan and we are done with commissions today. Hi. You, you, you have to... He has to stop every time. Oh, you're awake? What is this, sir? Oh, thank you. Let's go check on Lyndon. How is Lyndon? Oh, she's getting so big. And she's skipping around. Oh, it's so cute. I will say the kids in this game do creep me out a little bit. They look like giant dolls. And I am, in general, scared to death of dolls. Like, very general, general, generally speaking, I am scared of dolls. I am scared of dolls, and I am scared of clowns. Those are my irrational fears, along with sharp objects. I am afraid of sharp objects also. The sharp object one is a truly irrational feel, fear. So, pupils, don't trust everything you read or hear. <gasps> I can Always give it to him. Well, Pebbles has gifts. That is nice. They finally fixed that. Thanks. I. Oh, we'll get our points with Alo. Hmm, is this the way? Trying to think what he has in front of him. I don't know. Years later, Does Jasmine like the headband? Let's find out, eh? Do you want a kitty cat one? Whoa, no. Yeah, that's too too immature of a gift for you. I thought that she might like it being that she has like the evil butler kitty thing, because you know, that's a cat headband. But no. Um Let's see. Hmm, I wanted to snoop on people, and nothing is snoopable. Let's go in the church dorms. To me, this building should actually be off limits now. The only people who, who lived here were Miguel and Penn and Andy for a little while. This is... This is Andy's room when he was staying here, I believe. But there's like a little mask on the... Yeah, I do believe this was Andy's room. Then this is uh, no one's room. This may have been Burgess, technically. Though he did live, I think, in the security office. Um, and then I think this room, which we've been in before. This is Penn's. There's LMG there. We have that poster. We have that poster. Like, it would be nice if you could spy around. But you can't. There's nothing to spy on. And then this is Miguel's room. But again, it would be nice if you could spy. But there's nothing. Because I thought about, because that's what I wanted to do today. I really wanted to spy on people. And it's just there is nothing to spy on. We'll go to the clinic because we need to, I wanted to go to the clinic to check on Ginger anyway, but. Yeah, there's not much to spy on people with, and that's that's a bummer. I kind of don't think there will be anything with Ginger today. No, 
Nope. Can't even interact with her. Interesting. Ginger's diary. My brother got angry with the doctor yesterday. Luckily, Lexi and the kind man from the Civil Corps were there to calm him down. It's just because he's worried about me, though. Dr. Fang is very kind. He didn't get angry at all. He's very gentle with me, too. Dr. Fang and Dr. Shu are so different. They are both, but they are both very good people. Oh, <laughs> little ex. Interesting. We now have her diary. I got a telegram today from Pop from Papa today. He said there's an amazing doctor in Sanroff who can cure my condition. He talked to Gus and Dr. Shu, and we decided to head over as soon as we can. Uncle Rusa said sand rock's really hot and there's sand as far as the eye can see. But it changed a lot lately, so I wonder what's going to what's going to be like now. He gave me a camera so I can take a lot of pictures. We arrived at Sand Rock. The climate here is so much drier than Portia, but it isn't as bad as Russo said. <clears throat> it's actually so beautiful here. We went to the clinic when we arrived, stayed at the blue moon until we after we left. I didn't get a chance to see anything though, Gus would not let me go anywhere. The owner of the Blue Moon is so lovely. He told me there's loads of stuff to do in there. Stories, musical performances. I really hope I have a chance to see that. And then this we read. Okay, well, we now have Ginger's Diary. <laughs> uh, let's go snoop in here. I don't actually think there's anything to snoop. You all are ruining my fun. <laughs> Like, come on, let me click on X's thing. This is his father. Uh, the burnt picture. I think this is like the only thing. This has some sort of strange liquid inside. It filters the stuff from the other stuff. And then this is his bookcase. Fang's bookcase contains many medical books on various topics. One title particularly stands out as History of the Medical Studies Banned in the Free Cities. Fang! Wouldn't want to be that guy. <laughs> a traditional, a really traditional bathtub. The water looks warm and enticing and has a strong smell of medicine. It really makes me, you want to climb in. A poster demonstrating some of the benefits and techniques of acupuncture as taught by Zhu Lingsha. There's a, also a bag here full of needles. Thinking of using needles as medicine makes you very, you nervous, but you have to admit they got a point. <laughs> they have a point. <laughs> oh, I love the writers. There are so many herbs ingredients in each of these little drawers. Frank probably has them lay off memorized. <laughs> Oh, I love dad jokes. Like, I absolutely love dad jokes. And that was a good one. Oh. I think we probably touched that one, but. Oh, that's funny. That actually really made my day. <laughs> oh, that, that really made my day. Consumables? No. Medicine. Oh, that's the concealer. I haven't had to touch the concealer. That's why. <laughs> I will probably keep all this in case uh, people want it as uh, desired things. Oh, there's a table that just came into existence right there. Um, She's really, I think, the only person I can think of who has stuff to spy on. Hey, Gus, do you have anything to say? I didn't expect Ginger to like it here so much. She's uh, not usually good with hot weather. Maybe you just need to give her some freedom, sir. In Porsche, he pretty much follows Ginger around all the time. Um, until you marry him. Or actually, actually when you start dating him, then he finally lays off a little. Got a little request today, and I let Elsie handle. I've got some free time. We got a little request today, and maybe I let Elsie handle it. Maybe tonight we will go on a date. I don't know. <clears throat> checking on babies. Checking on babies. You need a bath, little miss. Uh, helper box. 
She should be. Lily should be growing up soon. Like, really soon, Lily should be growing up. Um, tools. I can't believe that hasn't filled yet. I really can't believe that hasn't filled yet. Um, scrap. Well, we have a king now for uh, the holiday. I need to see what prices are to possibly buy more of the things for Jane. Uh, books. And you fall out relics. It's still full. I may need... We're going to go to the museum and just see if there's anything else we can assemble. Hi. Got a little yeah. request today and yeah. I let Elsie handle it. I do wish that, that he had more lines. It's like the two. Oh, that's not my uh, coat. Rambo is actually a little bigger than her. Just a little. I do wish he had more lines because it's the one about. Actually, there's like three lines. It's the one about Elsie, the one about sleeping in your bed, like sleeping in a bed beats sleeping in the wild. And then I always forget to take care of myself when I'm busy. Like those are the official three lines. Let's make more relics that we don't need. Some of them come in handy, though, I will say. Like, they do come a little bit in handy. Like, we became friends with Wei, best friends with Wei, based off of relics that would have been garbage otherwise. So, they're not all bad. Um, we need to... Look at prices. Negative one. Oh, not helpful. Though, I mean, we can probably sell uh, the clothing soon. Um, We're going to go to a rune tonight. I don't know what rune. I don't know why I felt the need to go pick this this one out of all the chests in my yard. But for whatever reason, I felt the need to come all the way over here. Uh, what other one here, this one? That's full. Yeah, we may need to start selling some. We may need to. I mean, <laughs> what's really sad is we actually shut off I need to go get another light. Um, we, we shut off the relics from uh, the, the salvage contract. Imagine if I didn't shut off the salvage contract relics. Holy June, you're back. Yeah, she definitely still, we're wait. I, we should be getting a, a, the next portion of uh, the Amira mission. I am going to go buy uh, Jane's gifts, I think. I needed something. I'm going to assume it was those two things. Uh, we are also going to buy more of those and more of those. Just because I've been making a point to beat Logan every single time to feeding her. For the most part, for feeding the babies, that I am starting to run low. I see, I'm feeling prices are going to the positive, so I'd rather get all of Jean's gifts for the week. Actually, where is Jane? Miss Jane? I think we're going to take her out on a date. 
Let's chip away at some of those points. We can snoop around to Mira's. Uh, we'll do that another day. Where's Jane? Uh, over here by the museum. We're going to take her on a play date. So here now. Let's see what we can find out about Jane. Let's make our date more than just about what we do. It's about the emotions we share, the connection we feel. That's like a little deep for just um going to the blue moon, but sure. Sure. That is very cute up there now, the mini Botanica. It's very, very cute. Uh, we're going to go in here, give her some gifts. See if we can learn something about Lady Jane. Um, ask My about only complaint? I'm the only teacher at school. No colleagues, no supervisor. No pressure, but no support either. Many schools in the free cities face the same issue. If towns can afford multiple builders, they should hire a few more teachers, right? Well, there really doesn't need to be more teachers because in both of the schools... Thanks! I love it! Like in the Porsche school and in the Sandrock school, there's like under five kids. So even by today's standards, I hereby ordain you the noble <laughs> responsibility of ordering. Because even like by today's standards, that's enough teachers per student, like the quota that they always talk about. Which uh, to me, in today's schools, that number is like way too high. <laughs> like from teacher to students, that it, it's a little too. Or, yeah, teacher to student quota. There needs to be less students, more teacher, I guess. Uh, cause some of it you're like, huh? What a delightful meal! Every dish suited my taste perfectly and put me in a good mood. She's a strange one. She really is. Like everything she says is like just a little weird. Oh, what well, are your favorite things? Dolls, obviously. I'm passionate about anything related to the theater. You know it. And I stumbled upon a novel adaptation of Miss Jane at the library the other day. Though they say adaptations are never as good as the original, I found it quite captivating. Okay. Andy! What are you doing in here, young sir? Oh, look at him! Look at my boy, all grown up. We're going to take a picture of that. I actually did not want that picture. I wanted this picture of Andy all grown up sitting there eating. Just to prove he does come here. He does come here once in a blue moon. Ha ha, the blue moon. Hey, deputy cat. I did not wait long enough. Yes. I still wish I could take the shoes off of you, sir. Um, Jane, stop and chat. Gift. Um, I just gave that to you. Thanks. I love it. She sits very close to us. It's so beautiful, I can't help but wonder the story behind it. It's fascinating how inanimate objects can spark one's imagination. And yeah, she sits very close to us. My ma and pa used oh. to take me on picnics in a beautiful rapeseed field back in Ethia. Every spring there was a sea of flowers. So she's from Ethia. I don't really remember it anymore. I don't even have any photos. If I ever have the chance, I'd love to go back. We'll have to read her bio and see if it says anything. A person. No, we'll, yeah, we'll do personality. Thank you. I used to try to change myself and put on different personas. But now I've learned to appreciate my true self. And we're done, Jane. A 
surprising beginning, a pleasant middle, and a perfect finish. Thank you for the wonderful date. Let's meet again soon. You became our best friend. Um, Jane, 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 you're going to be near the bottom. A cheerful, optimistic school teacher with a passion for plays and musicals. Her dream was to be an actor, but now she makes the state, the school house her stage. So she is from Ethia. Interesting. Wow, sh Fenty has a longer bio. Fenty is the youngest member of the Ufala salvage team and the in invisible lubricant that keeps it running smoothly. She is cheery and optimistic maintains a peaceful relationship with her colleagues. She originally grew up in an old world junkyard, fighting for scraps to eat. Even though this hardship, she maintains a strong smile. It is interesting that again today, we did not have the flash of the black. So I do think me verifying game files helped. Well, I think we're just going to go to the desert and harvest stuff and like unalive the vulture. I'm going to have to start putting that on like a calendar as a reminder, like every four days to unalive the vulture. We're also going to go get the um, stanon, stanon stuff. The pretty flowers. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. I never know what to call them when it's like a word that's difficult to say. It's just like, I don't know. It's the thing, the thing that does things and stuff. You know, that thing. I think we're actually doing good now for Lapis. Lapis Lazuli. Again, one of those things. I never know if it's lazuli or lazuli. I think I was always taught lazuli. And I've been lately watching a lot of shows on ancient Egypt and ancient Rome. I don't know why. Like, I go through spurts where I watch a bunch of stuff on ancient Egypt and Rome, and then I will never touch it again forever. Well, that's... A, that's... That was an over-exaggeration forever. But normally my, like, what I watch is a lot of World War II stuff. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, I unalived it. Okay. Yeah, that normally is like my typical thing that I watch is World War II stuff. Like, if you get me into like a World War II documentary, like like a mini series or something you may not see me for days like it's just at that i love world war ii stuff even though it's like i've reached a point where i've learned a lot about i mean i did my thesis on it and i did like my dissertation on it i've done a dissertation on world war ii i've done one on nazi germany I've done one on concentration like major papers so it's like there's really not much more to learn about it, but I still can sometimes find new things. It's rare. I've reached that point where it is rare for me to be like, oh, uh -uh. well, I did not know. It's very rare nowadays. And it's more like if they do a deep dive into like a singular subject that I'll be like, oh, well, I didn't know that. Like that's kind of like that for me now anyway. Like it, it has to be a very like obscure type subject for me to be like, oh, interesting. Um, next. Oh, we'll get this. We're here. Why not? Yeah, we haven't gone into a, a desert thing. In a while. I'm starting to think that maybe the, the I should do so we have Wednesdays and Sundays watering plants. I'm wondering if I should maybe start doing 
like a Friday and like a Monday going and unaliving the desert, the, the vulture. That might be a thing to do to make a point to. I do better when you give me a set schedule, like this is the day you need to do this. Even if I like I'm putting it upon myself, I do do better um, when I put something like that on myself. Like it takes a couple days to get the actual behavior for, like started. But then once I the behavior is like kind of formed, I stick to it pretty well. It's just I need to just actually set the thing. So I may do that to start coming out here during every Friday. So I would think every Friday and maybe every Monday it should come back or maybe Tuesday. I would think that the, the vulture would come back every four days or so. Like, that seems like a good number to me. So that would be what? Like, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, yeah, it would have to be Tuesday. And then... Yeah, I think if it's four days... If it's three days, it's fine. But if it's an actual four day to respawn, then that probably wouldn't work out. I did not want to... Yeah, we'll have to pay attention. So we unalived it on Friday. I will we'll have to pay attention to it. To make a point to go out to the desert and see. Okay. Everything's put away. No. Everything is not put away. You can go away and you can go away. That needs to get sold. These all need to be sold. We're going to donate this to the museum. I think this can get donated. It actually... That one, I don't know. It should, because that's the creepy set. It might not be all of the creepy set, though. Whoops. Nope, I need piece one. Is it piece one? I don't remember. Relics. No, yeah, it's piece one, I think. It's the... The hat. Or no, it is the pants. All of them start with pants. Yeah, so I need two pairs of pants. Okay, well that, that makes it easier to remember what I'm looking for. This is going to make me... <laughs> Don't mind me! <laughs> <laughs> trampling over him as he sleeps. <laughs> Wake up! Oh, I would... I would probably want to shoot someone if they did that to me. <laughs> like, wake up, Logan! Wake up! Oh, here, we're going to check on the animals. Oh, no, the game... I saw animals to the floor. The kids are fine. Okay. Anyways, we're going to end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed this episode of my time at Sandrock. Next episode, we'll probably have more with Gust and Ginger. We are winding down on the Gust and Ginger stuff. It's there should only be like one more big thing left that I can I can remember. So we'll get that soon and continue chipping away at the good old encyclopedia. So I hope you enjoy. Take care of yourself and bye for now. <laughs>